Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate you going out of your way to like, comment, and subscribe. That helps me and the channel out a lot, so that is much appreciated. Now let's talk about a bait that I will have tied on pretty much from now until the end of the year. You know, it's a great summer fall bait, but it's also going to catch them really well in this spawning post-spawn period we're in now, and that is the Zoom Horny Toad. I call this a soft plastic buzz bait. And basically, it's going to catch fish on days when a buzz bait is too much, or maybe they're short striking your buzz bait. And I also think this bait imitates brim a little bit better. So if you have a brim spawn going on, I just feel like this does a better job at imitating brim, bluegill, shellcracker, warmouth, whatever it may be, better than a buzz bait does. I think a buzz bait is a great shad imitator, but for the most part, this just does better on brim. Now, where this bait really shines is vast areas where swimming a jig just isn't efficient enough. You could flip there, but there's just too much dead water. So you need to be covering water and fishing really fast. So when I think of things like that, it's going to be a big lily pad field, maybe a big hay grass field, maybe reeds and, and, and buggy whips and stuff like that isolated. You know, not a hard line, but just a big flat with reeds and stuff on them. I've done really well on this bait in those type scenarios. Also, any type of river system where you may have like a lay down every couple of feet and again, they won't bite the buzz bait and swimming a jig, flipping, spinner baiting, those types of baits, you just are fishing too much dead water. You gotta be covering water faster. And this bait is one of those baits where you can figure out a pattern on the lay downs or maybe it's a, a area type deal in a river where they're really ganging up you know, 20 yards before every bend, you could figure that out with the horny toad, or maybe there's a specific part of the lay down that the fish are on and you can figure that out with the horny toad, then start flipping, then start swimming a jig. Because to me, I would much rather be swimming a jig. I feel like my hookup ratio is much better swimming a jig. It's just much more tedious. It takes a lot longer and the horny toad is just gonna be able to cover water and you're gonna be able to fish a lot faster, more efficiently. And this time of year where timing is so important, you know, you may not know you're in dead water, but you may, may or may not be depending on the bite windows that, the, you know, that's going on in the lake and you just need to be covering water. I mean, that's just post spawn fishing and, and the same goes in the summer and the fall. If you are searching for fish, there's not a better way to look for them than a zoom horny toe. Now I try to keep this like, as simple as I keep my buzz baits for the most part. I like a white, I like a black, and I like some type of brim pattern when I'm just fishing this by itself. Now, when I start using this as a buzz bait trailer, it is a phenomenal buzz bait trailer. I will go to my icicles, which is like a real shiny, silvery, I guess, glittery, silvery color, or like blue glimmer, which is that translucent, real natural shad imitator or birthday cake, which is a white with all kinds of different colors in it. I like those colors on a buzz bait, but when I'm fishing this just by itself, I like to keep it as simple as I possibly can. Cause to me, it's not necessarily about the color. You know, there's three colors that will work in almost every situation. It's more about getting in the right area, covering water to get myself there. So when I'm fishing this bait, it is a little bit lighter of a bait. So I like to throw it on a moderate rod. Now, again, I'm fishing this around heavy cover most of the time. So it's gonna be on 50 pound braid and it's gonna be on a heavy action rod with a super line four rod extra wide gap hook. But I like a little more moderate bend. So I don't want an extra fast or a fast rod where most of the bend is in the tip. That is great for short cast, but I'm typically hurling this bait, you know, as far as I can throw it out into a lily pad field. And that's, where I'm using this, you know, and, and that's what, how I'm fishing this. So I need a more moderate bending rod. Now, when you do get one to blow up on it, if you're fishing around wood, you know, in the, the river situation I gave you, then I don't like to give them a whole lot of time. I do want to set the hook fairly quickly. But when I'm fishing hay grass, uh, lily pads, maybe it's isolated reeds, something like that. When I do get a bite, I am typically going to try to let that fish have that bait as long as I possibly can. The extra wide gap hook is great for that. And I want those fish to get that bait as far down in their mouth as they possibly can. Because if that hook is anywhere, anywhere rather near the outside of their mouth, 
if that tip of that hook gets stuck in a lily pad stem, you know, hay grass, whatever it may be, they're going to come off. So I want it to be where it is just line coming out of their mouth. And how you accomplish that is when they bite it, I know it's going to be a, a pretty extreme blow up most of the time. You got to just kind of let them have it. And don't, don't, you don't got to reel down super tight line on a semi slack line, kind of get the feel of where the fish is at and then, then hit them. But I don't like to, you know, set the hook immediately, you know, unless I'm fishing around wood where that braid can wrap around the wood, then I will. But for the most part in grass, you want to really let them get it and have it for a while before you set the hook. So very important on this bait if you want to land them, but this is a killer bait around post spawn fish when, when the swim jig, uh, is just not going to be covering enough water. The brim spawn and then summer, fall, it's a just as good as a buzz bait is, if not better on those those scenarios. So try a horny toad. I will keep this tied on April, basically till, till the water cools off in the fall time. So try a, a zoom horny toad on a four-aught extra wide gap super line hook. Good luck to you guys, and I'll see you on the water.